guest. Lucy Carol Norris is podcast host to What It's Like. She's a multimedia journalist, originally from Dublin in Ireland, and obsessed with podcasts, she says. Um, she's going to tell us more about this. But I want you to have a little listen first to what she submitted to BBC Upload. I realise that I'm, I'm coming away from the microphone like that, aren't I? And I'm just... <laughs> Everything's going pear-shaped in here, but I'm sure she's the one that will hold it all together. Here's an example of her podcast, what it's like that she uploaded to uh, Radio London. So it sounds like your life in a couple of weeks just completely flipped upside down <laughs> in the most unexpected way. But that's Pretty such much. a good story. Yeah. You know, when you're mm -hmm. famous in a few years, um, telling how you got into your career, that's quite a good one. Um, yeah, yeah. And so when you were going through the audition process um, and getting closer to filming, did you know like fully what the show was going to be about that it was going to be highlighting men's health and how did you feel about approaching that kind of material if i'm being honest when i first read the email as, as like the breakdown of, of the show i think the first thing that struck me was that you know it would require me to you know expose my backside to be honest and that was the first thing that i kind of noticed and kind of thought right <laughs> this, this will be interesting <laughs> i love that Oh, it's it's funny with jobs. We don't always know what we're getting ourselves into. Um, but Lucy is here to tell us more about the podcast. Hello. Hi, Alice. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. Now, thank you so much for submitting to BBC Upload. Go on, tell us who was talking um, there, who you were interviewing. Yeah, sure. First of all, thanks so much for having me. Um, so that was actor Nathan Quinn O'Rourke. He is starring in the new BBC Three drama, My Last Nut. Um, it's a programme that aims to highlight men's health and speaking about it um, in a more open way and not being afraid to share with your friends any problems or worries that you have. So he was really, really great to have on the show. Oh, fantastic. Well, it, it was it was a great interview to submit, I have to say. I listened to the full thing and thoroughly enjoyed it um now look okay. you're lots people have so many roots into podcasting either it's you know they they've just enjoyed one too many chats in the girls toilet um on nights out and decided to, <laughs> to hit the record button <laughs> or it's something that they've been planning for a little while you're a multimedia journalist tell me more about that yeah, so I did my undergrad in journalism in the UK um, and then I went home to Dublin and I fell into the area of digital marketing and um, travel writing for um, a European airline. And basically how the podcast came about, I was on my nine to five commute, um, you know, listening to endless amounts of music because it was a really long commute. It was two hours there, two hours home. I couldn't drive. I failed my test four times. It was the bus for me. Oh no. Um, I know. It makes you so, feel better. I still don't have my test. Oh really? <laughs> I haven't done it oh yet. Oh my God, no. get it. It's life changing. Um, but yeah, so I got bored of listening to my playlist and I hadn't really been into podcasts before but I heard about them, I knew about them, and I came across this show called How I Built This by Guy Raz, became obsessed with it, and then I'd, I'd always had an interest in people and storytelling in general, um, hence the, the career in multimedia journalism. Um, so yeah, I, I decided, you know what, I had the skills um, in terms of training, I knew how to use a microphone, I knew how to use editing software, so why not just do it myself? So I remember sitting on the bus one day and just thinking, okay, I'm gonna go home, I'm going to order the microphone and I'm going to do it. And you then just of did course, it. Yeah. And then, you know, all of our favorite word, the pandemic hit. Yes, um, we know that word well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so, you know, if anything, that gave me the excuse or the kickstart to sit in my little bedroom upstairs in my parents' house um, and get going with it. And I think the thing with podcasting is it is so much easier than maybe what people think it's I find one of the most accessible mediums anyone can do it and everyone can do it um so yeah that's kind of my little backstory amazing it's it, I love hearing people's backstories and they really like you said your little backstory kind of you know um talking it down but it's so interesting and look when you submitted you also mentioned that you've lived in a variety of different places from Africa to Canada now London what what took you to those places and I guess what brought you back to London yeah, sure. So, um, yeah, as you said, I grew up in Dublin, but I'd always been traveling because I had family scattered around. So um, I spent all my summers in Singapore. And then my dad's job took us to um, Namibia when I was 
15 to 17. So that was a really crazy experience. It opened my eyes up to um, a lot of different things that I, I might not have otherwise seen. Um, and so I always had a bit of the travel bug, but then I really caught it from that time living there. Um, had to come home quickly to do those awful things called exams and then um, went to the UK to study, then went on to Canada to just travel around a bit. I worked there as a waitress um, and explored the US as well. And then um, obviously came home because the pandemic and uh, I got a job opportunity as well just before that. And then the thing is with London, my mom's English. I've always had that side in me, I suppose, or that draw towards the UK. And I mean, London is London, isn't it? You can't really get much better than it. Sure, there's it's, so much to do. It's such a creative yeah. hub. So I'm guessing as a you know multimedia journalist and a podcast host, this was the perfect place for you to take yourself. Yeah, I feel like I was always going to end up here one way or another. Um, so yeah, this September I, I packed my things and I moved and honestly I haven't looked back since. It's been crazy, it's been great, it's been stressful at times. I think you forget how busy the city is as well. Of course. Um, coming from Dublin, you know, Dublin is obviously a city but it's, it doesn't have the same buzz and the same atmosphere that London has. Oh, I so, do love um, Dublin though. I remember going with my friend a couple of years ago um, prior to all things COVID-19 and mm -hmm. um, I saw sing as like a side hustle I sang in every pub we went to with oh, every wow. singer and they probably <laughs> got really annoyed with me at certain points but it, it was there were so many cool places that we found we were going down streets and we found this place that looked like a cafe but you go into the basement and there was um you know a whole DJ set going on it was near the castle and it was just so oh. amazing to to get a dose of 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 somewhere else a change of scenery so I'm guessing maybe that's what you got with coming to London but in in a different way yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, I get what you're saying about Dublin. One thing we do well is music. Um, I'm sure they weren't annoyed at you singing. They were probably welcoming it with um, Guinness as well. Um, but yeah, London, it's, a, it's such an amazing place. It's such a great place for creatives. You're always running into people that, you know, you can collaborate with or you can have great chats to about um, the creative industry. Even, I mean, I live in the center of London, so just stepping outside my door inspires me a lot. Being able to just, you know, go to Covent Garden or all these places that I've grown up seeing on TV yeah. um, and having them so close, I think you're never really stuck for inspiration on the streets of London. Never. Well, look, if, if you've just started listening, this is the wonderful Lucy Carol Norris podcast host to what it's like. Speaking of the podcast, um, tell everyone listening a little bit more about it and the kind of people if they haven't che uh, you know checked into that podcast yet who they can expect to hear yeah so this is an interview series highlighting ordinary people doing extraordinary things and is basically a platform for people who felt the fear but did it anyway to share how they climb the, la the ladder to success um so some of the people that you're gonna hear if you want to check out my podcast is max fosh youtuber and comedian um, business partner to Stephen Bartlett, Don McGregor, Arlo Handlin, everyone's favorite father from Father Ted, <laughs> Sabrina Stalker, he was great. He, I really recommend listening to that. Um, Sabrina Stalker from The Apprentice, Layla, Layla Anna Lee, the TV presenter. So many creatives. You're, you're almost providing me a pool of creative people for the green room <laughs> for the coming weeks yeah. on this show. <laughs> No, definitely. They're all, I mean, I'm, I'm biased, obviously, but every single episode has left me with something or made me think about something. And everyone's been really, really great to chat to. So um, yeah, definitely get them all on. Why well, not? It all sounds great. Look, I'm loving this podcast. Thank you so much for uploading it to BBC Upload. If people want to find you, where can they go? Where's your socials? Let's give them a shout. Yeah, so my personal social is at Luce Norris. And if you want to exclusively follow the podcast, it's at What It's Like Pod. Those are both on Instagram. Brilliant. Lucy Carol Norris, pod podcast host to What It's Like. She's working as a creative copywriter while studying a master's in broadcast journalism. Have you finished that master's now? Completed it? Are you still going? No, I'm still going. I was oh. actually out filming today for my dissertation documentary. So yeah, still going oh. strong, finishing in July. Best of luck. I did um, a master's in documentary journalism and mine was ASMR, um, which oh, was a very wow. entertaining thing to try and put together. But um, yeah, I, I'd I'm say. holding out. Can we find your documentary anywhere once you've done it? Once you've put it together? Uh, yeah, I'll definitely be sharing it all on my socials, as I said, at Luce Norris. And then I'll have it on YouTube as well. At Luce Norris. There we go. Podcast host to what it's like. A fantastic podcast. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for having me, Alice. Thank you.